KBC Channel 1 at Tomboy at 24 and at Purity Museo underscore. Purity underscore Museo. Members of Parliament have differed on proposals by Budget and Appropriations Committee on Kenya's borrowing strategies. A section of the lawmakers say that there may be attempts by Parliament to provide Treasury with a backdoor option to borrow beyond the legally accepted ceiling. The country's debt currently stands at 8.3 trillion shillings. Gladys Mungai reports. Proposals by the Budget and Appropriations Committee on the medium-term debt management strategy saw so MPs differ on the proposals on whether the fiscal deficit as proposed in the budget policy statement and the medium-term debt management strategy for the financial year 2022-2023 should be capped at 400 billion shillings or 3% of the country's gross domestic product. Any person, any institution, any entity claiming that the debt of the country is beyond 8.2% it's um, hearsay, doesn't have any merit, and is not documented. Medium term uh, debt management strategy be approved, but inconsistent with the fiscal deficit of the 400 billion that is maybe either the 400 billion or 3% of the GDP, whichever is law. Those endorsing the proposal saying the provisions adhere to the section 63 of the Public Finance Management Act. This proposed amendment is timely and we should all actually back it because it's purely to ensure we and the country are well informed. Those again is the report saying there are no clear proposals on how the cost of debt burden and reducing of refinancing risk on domestic debt will be done. Should we approve this BPS and the debt management strategy, it shall not be construed to be an approval to exceed our debt ceiling. We have borrowed, Madam Speaker, actually over borrowed beyond the limits set here in this parliament. And I was actually sitting here wondering the debate we had earlier, Madam Speaker, because we ought to be discussing, Madam Speaker, on how to punish those people who have made this country borrow beyond the legal limits, Madam Speaker. The amendment by Kikuyu, member of parliament, was also thrown out as the leader of majority, Amos Kimunya, urged the House to reject the amendment, terming it as preemptive and speculative since the budget estimates had not been discussed in the House. Let's just remove this from our records by deleting this, by objecting to it, by, by uh, defeating this amendment, because it is very obvious that this House will not approve estimates that go beyond the debt ceiling. A section of MPs claiming Treasury has a physical deficit of 846 billion shillings and if allowed to borrow will overshoot the country's debt ceiling. The country's debt now stands at 8.3 trillion shillings. For Prime Edition, I'm Gladys Mungai.